Hey guys, today uh, what I'm going to be doing is going over an old track and trying to fix it up and make it sound good. Uh, this is going to be an incredibly hard task because um, the one I'm trying to do uh, is absolutely appalling, so wish me the very best of luck. This is based on um, a piece called by uh, Don Felder called Taking a Ride. It was in the film Heavy Metal, and it's a pretty damn good track, but my one's not that great, so here we go. It's going to start in the same sort of fashion with Conspiracy, which is uh, just a standard um, bit from the synth. Very basic. It's a great piece of uh, sound, though. Oh, God. Why am I doing this to myself? So you can, pr if you've heard this track before, you can probably tell that it's quite similar. Uh, I'm using an old piece called Drum Synth here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by working with that one. So I'm going to make a good sound out of this, first of all. It's not taking up a lot, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go for a basic thing. So where are we? Compressor. So what I'm going to do is, what I want to do is I want to limit it, but that one's going to go down a bit. So I need a little bit of reverb in. There we go. So that's a little bit better. Yeah, you can probably hear that a lot clearer now. There we go. So um, anyway, so we want the conspiracy to sound good. That's uh, number two, so we want to check that out. I'm going to remove a bit of that chorus. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bit more reverb to this one. And with reverb, I'm going to add delay to. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a stereo effect there. So just a small little bit of it. So it's barely audible. Okay. Right. So that's um, going to be going on in the background. Right. Oh my god. That's just dreadful, isn't it? Right, I'm going to have to give this one its own thing because it's got to be different from these other bits. So what I want to do is go to parametric here. Oh jeez, what am I doing? Might be better if I just suck that part out a little bit. Yeah, I can get a good suck out there take that down and then compress it I don't really want to add anything else to that one because it's not a very nice sounding instrument okay I really don't know what I was thinking about with this track. Where am I? And I'm going to just drop this one a little bit. That's not dominating like it was. Yeah, another one which is terrible. Actually, that works quite well with that one, so I'm not going to change that. So if I change the panning on these, we've got a little bit more power.
I have a feeling that conspiracy is going to actually steal from the track, so I'm just going to leave the middle part, which I had at the beginning. So if I'm going to strip, I'm just going to strip that whole layer out. So that's not going to be helpful to me. And then we're going to go to the absolute abomination that is the electric guitar. I like electric three the most, so I'm going to deal with that one last. Oh my god! Oh, this is awful. Can you hear that? That is that is so dreadful. That is really dreadful. I'm going to take that reverb down. Oh, limiter, limiter, limiter. So we're going to reduce this one by a lot. That's nine. Okay. What we want to do, I'm going to give a bit of compression to this one. Delay two. Stereo effect. That's quite nice because it then brings uh, a little bit more back into the right channel. Um, I'm probably recording a mono, so you may not even be able to hear that. Yes, that's all right. And I'm going to put a limiter on that one as well. There we go. Yeah, Electric 3 is without doubt my favourite. I've pitch bent this one. Wow. I actually, I actually tried back then. Um, no. Okay. They don't really need to do much with this one, so I'm just going to throw the compressor on and try it out to see what it's like. So we're going to start right from the beginning and see whether or not it's made a difference. Well, it doesn't sound amazing, but it's probably a little bit better than um, just going to take all of these tracks off to what they were and let's just go from the get-go. And we'll see what they sound like now. So um, the electric guitar sounds a little bit better, but it's it's never going to sound like an electric guitar in this track unless I actually put a proper electric guitar in there. Um, these instruments were terrible. They were a really bad choice, but I can sort of change them over a little bit, I guess, although that's going to completely undo all of the work which I've done. Uh, let's just go for blo Broke and see what happens when I replace them with um, just basic flex instruments. So... Um, what we'll want is we'll want plucks, I think. So if I take away everything just for the moment. Then we replace with flex. This is a much better. change it yeah. 
it's amazing what you can do just by changing the instruments honestly I mean I'm keeping them in the same uh, channels but you can hear just how uh, different it sounds I'll go with another pluck. I'm going to take the delay. Right, so electric guitar is going to be a little bit different with flex as well. Um, and at the moment, I'm working with citrus. This is what this is the synth I'm using. Um, but flex is a very, very different set, um, synth, and it makes all the difference. So I want to go with e on electric guitar. We'll go for a guitar. Hey, that's good. And we'll go for another electric guitar. All right, uh, guitar. That's a nice long lasting one. I mean, that is a big difference, so just come in for that beautiful bit of um, conspiracy. You know what, I think this just goes to prove that there is absolutely no skill in anything that I do. Uh, it's all a matter of changing the instruments until you get it right. But um, in all fairness, with like adding the compressor to the drums um, and doing a couple of little things to boost certain parts of the track, uh, here with the, the, the parametric, it's still going to make a difference. So for example, um, let, let, let's say I strip this one out. So we go, that's less powerful. If we, um, sorry, yeah, that is less powerful. It's not quite as good. I mean, that could always be added to this one as well. And take that one away. Yeah, it's too much of a kick, it's too tacky. It's got it's nice having that dampening effect on it. So there there is a little bit of skill involved as well in, in music production, but you know, I mean if I can do it anybody can. Um but yeah, you can make e even the older tracks that you've done when you've done them, they they can still you can still make something good out of them as well. Uh it's not like it, this isn't really one I'd publish because it's far too close to being uh taking a ride. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed uh this little experiment on uh, making music and uh, thank you for joining me. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.